This little creature is a member of the phylum Arthropoda. The arthropod phylum is the largest on the planet. Most of the arthropods are in the class Insecta. Others are in the arachnid class, which includes the spiders and the scorpions. This is in class Crustacea. You can see, like all arthropods, it has uh, segmented body parts, segmented appendages. Notice the appendages jointed. In the case of this crustacean, you've got five pairs. In the case of spiders, you'd have four pairs. Insects, of course, have three pairs. But this little crustacean has ten total. Large structure in the front for locating meals and defending itself. An exoskeleton of a tough material called chitin. In the case of the crustaceans and the insects, they have compound eyes. You can see this compound eye. In this case, it's on a stalk. Periodically, this exoskeleton needs to be shed. You can see the antennae as well. So this is a good representative of the phylum Arthropoda, which includes crustaceans, which is represented by crabs and lobsters and this crayfish. The insects, of course, which all of us are familiar with. The spiders, another group. And the millipedes and the centipedes as well. Large phylum arthropoda represented by this little crustacean, the crayfish. This is called a crayfish, a crawdad, a crawfish. has lots of common names. In New Orleans, good restaurants will have these things for dinner.